Hi Aries, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia and welcome to your general love reading for August 2021. If you guys are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that bell twice so you get all notifications. And hey to my regular subscribers, guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for your love and support as always. Um, you guys are just the best and I can't give you enough gratitude and appreciation for all of the support you've given to me. This channel would not be here without you guys, so just remember that, okay? Um, so you guys know the drill. For the love reading, this is more focused on a specific person on your mind, on how you feel, and then how they feel, and then the combined energy of you both. Please keep in mind it's general still, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. It's only going to, you know, like, just take what resonates, leave the rest. Do not force anything to fit. Um, and if it resonates more on one side versus the other, because I'm reading in more than one energy, obviously, then just flip it, guys. There's no there's no wrong way of doing that. But just keep in mind, time is always moving. So even though I'm pulling in August energy, some of you have, may have already been through this, or it's spot on what you're going through now, or a little bit down the road, okay? Pay attention to the actions and the choices, and just be open to it. And if it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. It just means it's not for you. No big deal, right? But if you want something more private, more personable, um, are working on yourself, then I highly recommend you go in that description box, box below, box, box, box below, and look for my information on my website. It's the only way to book for me is through my website um, to book a Harmonite session. Yes, I am a psychic medium. I am a channeler but also I am a life coach. So my messages that come across with my readings are a one-on-one -on -one session, but it's also to help empower you as well because we always have a choice, right? All right, Aries, let's get started. Here we go. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have for Aries in love. How is Aries feeling about their specific person on their mind? How is Aries feeling? Spirit. And what, or how is their person, how is their person, I can't talk today, how is their person feeling about Aries spirit? And what is the combined energy of these two? What is the combined energy of these two? Aries. Well, we're going to start off with you. Deep emotions, unknown feelings, past life influences. You see this connection as something more than just um, meeting for the first time. Okay. It feels like you guys have been soulmates. It's kind of like the connection of like, oh my gosh, have we known each other before? Like, what is this connection that we have? All right. I feel like it's somebody that you feel that you have a really strong bound bind with. It doesn't feel like this could be, this could be someone you have a past with, but it feels more like a past life with, okay? Now, on your person side, we have a nine, which is tenderness, true love, compassion. This is how they see you. Um, you guys could be very opposite from one another. You may have given this person another different perception here, okay? But they see you as someone who's loving, tender, but here's the thing we have in the middle with the combined energy of you both Aries rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. <sighs> Aries. It feels like the almost the level of this isn't a separation, but a break of like communication. I feel like there's a break in communication here. Okay. You two are not being honest with one another about how you feel. There's a lot of love here, for sure. But let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Additional messages, spirit, do we have for Aries? How does Aries feel? Here we go. We have the Knight of Swords reversed. What did I tell you about that communication? None. <laughs> Temperance. Empress reversed. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. On your person's side, we have the Ace of Swords. More about, you could be dealing with air sign here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups and we have the Nine of Pentacles. The combined energy of you both is the Knight of Wands. Are you kidding me? The Fool, Ace of Cups, 
Oh, and the Eight of Wands. You guys want to talk so badly. This is mutual. We're starting with the mutual energy first. We got to go. We got to start here. Knight of Wands. The Knight. All right. The Knight of Wands is something that's coming in quickly. It's coming in hot. It's passionate. Okay. I do feel that you guys have been wanting to message each other, wanting to express yourself. This is something that is new though, okay? With the full energy, this does not feel like an old relationship. Sorry guys, but for those of you who are like, this is like a past person, it doesn't. It feels like somebody that you have a connection with. Now it could be a friend turn into love, but keep in mind, this is new. You haven't really invested in this relationship yet to make it intimate, okay? That's what it feels like. It's just brand spanking new. What's both heavily on your mind is the Ace of Cups. Are you kidding me, Aries? Love, fulfillment. This is how you guys both feel with one another. Your cups are both full. They are. Because when your cup is full, that's when you're ready to give to others. There's a lot of emotions and feelings here. But what I feel with the Eight of Wands, look at this Eight of Wands. Okay, usually Eight of Wands is something coming from a distance. Maybe you guys are at a distance. Maybe you're at a long distance, but it doesn't have to be. It just feels like maybe quick messages going back and forth being like, hey, how are you? What's up, Aries? What's going on? But like nothing more than that. Like it feels very dry. And I feel like someone's like a little bit guarded as to like, can I, um, can I just like, can we just break this? because they have something that they wanna change here. Notice there's a crow here with the message. Crows and ravens are all about messages. I don't always see them as bad omens, especially one. It feels like good luck. It feels like an omen of love. This is transformation. Something is transforming about this relationship. It is, it is coming quickly. One of you is gonna break. Now on your side, under deep emotions, we have the Knight of Swords reversed okay the knight of swords is all about communication being logical i think you're in your head about this but with the fact that the knight of swords is reversed you're in your head that you're not getting messages you're like trying to think about why this isn't all working out here okay trying to remain balanced here with sagittarius energy so got to take deep breaths it's got to like all right well why aren't they communicating why aren't they talking i haven't heard from them yet you know, I feel like we've just been playing this game of like, hey, how you doing when we want to say more? You feel it, okay? Now, the Empress energy, which is usually about receiving, it's all about fertility, meeting a new birth, a rebirth, but it is reversed. So I feel like you're trying to stay balanced and going, okay, why haven't I got communication yet? I feel like something's here, but you're not receiving anything. You're not receiving a message yet of what you want. It's taking time, guys, with the Ace of Pentacles. This is somebody who, who wants to bring, and you want a stable offer too, because this is how you feel. You want a stable offer. You want an offer that is real. You want an offer that's not gonna be wishy-washy. You're willing not to wait for this individual, but willing for a divine timing here, okay? Now, even though the Empress is reversed, I feel like you may, there, there's some anxiety here, but I think that maybe you might not feel that this person feels the same way as you. You might have anxiety over that. But I'm here to tell you here with how your person feels about you, this tenderness, this loving, man, you are the one. You are the one to this individual because with the truth is they want to speak the truth. They see victory in this. Um, but they also see how well balanced this is with an equal give and take. They see something where you guys can grow with one another. It's equal. I feel like this person that you're dealing with maybe didn't have equal give and take relationships before and they're just kind of like blown away. You're the kind of person that they've been waiting for in every aspect, okay? Now with the Knight of Cups here and the Nine of Pentacles, Maybe you're a little bit more open with your emotions. They want to express themselves, but how they feel is that you have expressed your emotions to some way, and you have, because they see you as tender. They see you as true love and compassionate. So they see you already here, Aries, as someone who's very compassionate, who's already been expressive and open in there, even though with that moon energy of the unknown, 
um, you have a lot of independence, you know, that you have here with the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles energy is that energy of being independent, taking care of yourself, being able to provide for yourself, not too worried about anything else, going towards the Ten of Pentacles. This is how they see you. But they also see you wearing a mask a little bit too. And it's like, uh, maybe because they haven't expressed it yet. Maybe they're afraid you are wearing a mask or being too open with it. But let me tell you, with that combined energy of you guys both, of wanting those messages, of wanting that love, it's here. It's totally here. But let's see what the outcome cards have to say. I'm using the vice versa deck. I do not do reversals on the vice versa deck because they're double-sided cards and I don't feel guided to. Here we go. Spirit, what's the outcome of this? Ten of Wands. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here we go. We have the Emperor. We have the Ace of Wands. <sighs> and we have the Eight of Wands again. Your person's coming. Your person's coming. They are burdened by not being able to express themselves, okay? Aries, this is you too, okay? They may be burdened with the fact that you have expressed yourself already, okay? Um, with the Ace of Wands, this is how they see you. And yeah, it's very phallic, it's very sexual, but this is how they see you. There is a lot of sexual tension here, but in a good way, okay? They are very passionate about you in every aspect, okay? <laughs> So keep in mind that these messages that come through, it's not just a booty call. It's not. It's not just a booty call, okay? The emperor is someone who's strategic, acts quickly, but also the power of knowing the world is in their hand. That's what they want to offer. And if it's not what they want to offer, it's what you want to offer, and they're going towards it. This is them accepting it, okay? There is a lot of passionate messages coming here. I can't, like, this is what it is. It's passionate messages coming here, okay? There's no more additional validation on this. This is a pretty clean cut message here that you have somebody here who has the same feelings as you. They haven't opened up just yet, but they're going to. It's here in the cards. All right, guys, if this resonates for you, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And hey, if it hasn't happened, even at least claim it if you want it. Claim it because that's how affirmations work, okay? And guys, if you are on Facebook and you feel guided to, go to the Facebook group. It's a closed group. It's called Harmonia Friends. Just search Harmonia Friends. It is a closed group that I run. Um, like I said, it is for more for self and, and development, self empowerment, um, but it's a fun group. And if you're looking for a soul tribe, it's an awesome soul tribe. But also if you are a light worker, dark worker, whatever it is for healing, we want you over there to help collaborate with the channel. So I highly recommend that you come over there as well. All right, you guys take care.